Hello everyone, this is Bio here and I'm here today with a little share. So today's video is all about mini pocket letters. I have been drawing tons and tons of inspiration from YouTube and Instagram for this one. Uh, so I have made two pocket letters so before sending them away I just wanted to share it with you as to how I made it. Mine is nothing quite spectacular. It's, uh, it's, it's all about, uh, you know, um, taking ideas from others and then creating something of your own. Um, before I get into the video right away, I just have to uh, show you a few little things which my darling Santa had uh, sent to me this time. So there is a little postcard which she sent me um, which contains uh, a lot of how Germany looks. Uh, I absolutely adore when I uh, happen uh, to receive things which talk about their country and she is such an adorable uh, soul to send me everything which talks about Germany. Uh, there is a letter behind this so I just want to keep that quite private. So I just wanted to share this postcard with you. And she had also picked up a little German cookbook for me when her daughter and herself uh, had been out and I felt that is absolutely adorable for her to do that for me because she was thinking quite hard about me and I truly appreciate that gesture. But uh, a little bit of concern here is that I don't eat um, um, meat or beef or or that kind of stuff I am a vegetarian so I just pray that you know there is some recipe which suits my taste I'm pretty sure it's going to be there and the last thing which I really want to show you is this German uh, calendar which shows me pictures of um, Germany and that's how it is I hope it's capturing quite well I just don't want to read the names because I would be making a mess out of it but look how adorable Germany is. Wow. Hamburg. And I really wish this is going to go into my wish list because um, if I go to Germany, more than seeing the place, I would be excited to see Mona. <laughs> and I, 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 Berlin, yeah, Berlin. I know about Berlin because we have Frankfurt, yes. That's Frankfurt. I've learned about Berlin and Second World War in my history classes when I was in my high school grade. But Germany is absolutely beautiful. She, I, I consider her to be truly blessed for being there. So thanks a ton, Mona, for sending this to me. I know you're watching me. She's the only person, I think, who would watch my videos right from the start to the end. She's such a darling soul. The moment I upload my video, I would get a comment from her. Uh, you know, saying how much he enjoyed my ramblings. <laughs> now, let's get into the video right away. So today's pocket letter um, is uh, all about, uh, you know, an idea wherein if you are a person who gets a lot of happy mails, but at the same time, you just don't have enough um, uh, leisure in your hands to return uh, the love back to each and every soul I, I would suggest miniature pocket letters are totally apt for that because you can create a lot of them um, you know in such a short time and it's a lot of cuteness overloaded so I would leave a link in the description box down below as to where I got these uh, pocket letters from they are basically uh, you know baseball trading card uh, sleeves so in one uh, pocket a letter sleeve you have uh, nine pockets so the idea is to uh, create mini pocket letters wherein you will have three pockets in one row so this will be one uh, mini pocket letter i hope you are trying to uh, understand what i am trying to say so uh, for around 100 uh, sleeves I paid around 1000 bucks. So what I did is every uh, sleeve pocket would have an opening here. I hope you can see it. So the idea is to cut the sleeve in such a way that you, you um, use the scissors in such a way that it is right above the opening but just below the seal of the second line. So I just use my normal scissors and then just cut them quite uh, nice and neat. And I have this sleeve wherein there are going to be 
three pockets and you get a mini PL once decorated. So I'm going to put this one apart because I think I have made a little bit of sense on how to cut your sleeves now. Now these are the mini PLs which I created. I made two of them. Um, so I have never created a shaker pocket before so this was my first uh, time with shaker pockets and I truly enjoyed making them. So the best way to find glitters and uh, items for your party mix is to go to the party section um, of your craft store and then I have this uh, you know bowl bowl or tray or whatever you call where I store all my uh, glitters and you know sequences and all that so I picked these from a local uh, craft store purple glitter these are gold glitters and then I have these I don't know what do you call them but something which adds a lot of shimmer to your mix and I have these cute little stars uh, which I picked up as well they are very inexpensive you hardly um, have to spend spend like 15 bucks for one um, um, one one uh, what do you say pack it so that's all and then I take a bowl and then I mix all the uh, glitters that I want and then I create my uh, mix and then I just add it into the pocket as simple as that now I don't have a few stool because since you are adding uh, these uh, shaker mix the top portion has to be sealed but I don't have a few stool and I don't intend to buy one as well so all I did is I used my double sided tape to seal the pocket so I would measure the double sided tape to the uh, length of this pocket and then once I've decided on my shaker mix and I've added whatever I want to add in the pocket I just seal it with a double sided tape I just open the pocket nice and well I layer that um, double sided tape on one side and once I'm sure that it's going to be perfect I just take out the other um, you know other uh, seal other side of the seal that's all and then I fix it up nice and well now to cover that particular uh, tape I use glitter washies you can use any kind of washies that you have I just use washies uh, to cover that tape out there the same thing I've done here as well and the the uh, thing with pocket letters is that since they're very transparent whatever you do in the front you just have to do it in the back as well so that it looks nice and neat so I just use the same layering of washies behind as well that's it and there comes my uh, crepe paper embellishments which I did I would probably do a video on that as well to add a little bit of detail to the pocket I absolutely loved the idea of decorating the pocket from uh, outside as well so I used these um, crepe paper embellishments to add a little bit of detail to the pockets I, I am pretty sure that it turned out quite well now coming to the second pocket what I did is now these are my 6x6 six six, the normal 6x6 six six, uh, craft paper so uh, I would leave the uh, measurement in the description box down below I just have to had to cut these pockets in the measurement of two and a half into three and a half inches which are perfect for the PL sleeves so I would probably take this out for you and that's how the um, you know the card looks like so I used my butterfly punch which I recently got from Amazon. I uh, punched out a butterfly in the normal cardstock, the normal white cardstock. And then I forced it upon here and I also have these heart punches. I played a lot with these glitter uh, sheets. They are not foam sheets, they are just glitter sheets. I used a lot of hearts to add a little bit of detail to the card, decorated a little bit behind as well, used the hearts again and then layered two washies, a standard size washi and a thin washi. Then off late obsessed with using a lot of ribbons as well in my uh, project. So these are the ribbons which, I, ribbons which I have. I just create a cluster and I also used my scallop circle uh, punches to add this detail here and that's all. Now she can the, when you're sending it to your friend, she can use these journal cards for us scrapbooking pages or anything. So I am going to put this guy inside. Now, I've created it, the other one also in the same way. There is no difference. The same um, butterfly punches and that's how it is. Yeah, now in order to um, cover up these staplers, I 
use these star punches and I use my glitter sheets and the star punches to um, you know cover that staple or you know um, cello tape marks which shows out from behind so that's what I did cover it up nice and well and then comes the last pocket wherein um, the same thing three three and a half into uh, two and a half project life I mean uh, uh, card and then I layered some washies and used some stickers this was given to me by Mona then I had these sentiment stickers so I just just go through your stash and see what all you have and then just you know place it here and there if you feel they're look, looking good together so just left this portion blank because she can use it uh, she can use her own creativity on how she wants to use it so I've left that blank so I'm going to put this guy inside as well The same thing here, here it is sending hugs whereas there it is good luck, that's the only difference. And I made these cute mini tags, I just uh, used uh, scrap paper to create these tags, gave a layer of thin washi underneath and used some stickers, they were also the Snoopy stickers were also given to me by Mona. And then used some ribbon clusters and then uh, punched it up nice and well. So that's how it is, so I just slide these um, goodies into the pockets. And then I also punched out some, um, I also punched out a few butterflies and uh, you know these stars which she can use in her projects, I'm sliding it in there. I plan to add more goodies uh, but that I would probably do it off video. So that's how the PL looks in total, it's such simple uh, to make, it doesn't consume a lot of your time. At the same time you are responding back the love which your friend gave you. So I hope you enjoyed this video and had a lot of um, ideas to take away. So whenever you're making one and then please don't forget to tag me wherever it is made be in Instagram or I am also in Facebook. I would probably leave my link in the description box down below. So just tag me and I would be super happy to see what you guys come up with. Thanks a ton for watching you guys. Love you so much. Bye bye.